Hey guys, Kyle with Max Conversion here with you today to walk you through how to set up a landing page, the landing page building software that we use here at Max Conversion, our Google Ads agency, how we set them up, why they work, and how you can set them up as well. This should give you all the insights into landing pages and what you guys need to do to improve that conversion rate and improve that landing page. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I wanna start with what landing page builder that we use at Max Conversion for our Google Ads clients. And the landing page builder that we use, there's multiple of them, but we like to use high level as our landing page system. It's got AB split testing. It's got a really good platform for automation and integrations, and it integrates really easily with Google ads. It has call tracking. And so we like to utilize high level for our landing page build outs. Now we like it for really two reasons. One, the integrations, but also two, it's a very, very fast website builder. So whenever we set up new domains and new clients and new landing pages, it's very, very fast and it works really well. Other landing page builders that we like to use include Unbounce and Instapages. Both those work great. We don't use them at max conversion, but I have had experience with them in the past and they are fantastic. Uh, another one we like to use is more of a website builder, but Duda, D-U-D-A.co is a great platform. It's more so for websites, but uh, you guys can also utilize it for landing pages. But today I'm gonna walk you through our landing page builder in high level. Um, but this is very helpful for service-based companies that are looking to improve their conversion rate. Uh, your Google Ads account looks great. It's just a landing page issue, which a lot of Google Ads accounts nowadays, that's what the issue is. You know, if everything's set up right in your account and your conversion rate, your lead cost just isn't quite there, likely it's in the landing page design. And I'm gonna walk you guys through our landing pages, why they work, what you need to do to get your landing page to work, and then we'll build out some different systems to show you some variations at the very end. So let's jump into it. So I first wanna walk you guys through our landing page design here at Max Conversion. We've got a few different landing pages that we use for a variety of industries, but for the most part, this is our favorite landing page that works really, really well in the home service space, as well as other industries such as lawyers and plumbers, um, different service type businesses, insurance, these landing pages work really, really well. And I wanna break down the structure of this landing page and why it works so well. So I'm gonna show it to you guys on desktop, then I'll show it to you guys on mobile phone. So on desktop, we have everything right here. We'd like to take the approach at Max version that all the information for a user to make a decision should be right above the fold. Above the fold just basically means they don't have to scroll. So having all that information included above the fold is very important. And we've put ourselves in the customer shoes of what kind of information would we need in each industry, right? So for this this example, it's concrete leveling. So we need to know, one, that they reaffirm what we search for. Uh, so they're a concrete leveling company. That's step one. Uh, as obvious as it seems being relevant, it's highly, highly important. Don't try and overcomplicate this headline one. Make it simple. Two, you guys want to have a fine brand. Make sure that your logo and your colors match up. Brand consistency is very, very important and it looks professional. The really kicker here is the bullet points and the features and benefits. So we've got features here that have just general general features, you know, five out of five star business, same day quote, fully insured, and no hidden fees. They're very basic information, guys, but it works really well. It reaffirms that this is a professional company. And then down here, we have some information about concrete leveling, right? Affordable rates, five-year workmanship warranty, fast project guaranteed. So that's all additional stuff that reaffirms how they, you know, what they want to see. Um, the next thing is the trust factor, right? So they want to see that one, you guys are five-star rated or you're four-star rated or what have it, but they don't only want to see that your guys are five-star rated because five stars can mean anything, right? You guys have one five-star review or you guys have, you know, 500 five-star reviews. Uh, you guys want to include that information, right? So for example, for this company, you have the Google five-star rated, but then you have a review count right below it. So 239 Google reviews. Now, if you guys have 50, you guys have 100, that's totally okay. If you guys have over 1,000, that is tremendous. But include that review count. Um, if you guys have more reviews on Yelp or Trustpilot or BBB, uh, make sure that you include those review counts there. The next thing is the phone number here. So we wanna have the phone number easily accessible on desktop in case somebody wants to pull out their phone and reach out. We have it right here, big and, big and bold, call for an instant estimate. They know for you know instant estimate, they imagine that they're going to reach an agent or an admin task person that is going to answer the phone. Uh, and if you guys are running these ads, I would highly recommend it. Run it during business hours when you can answer the phone. Uh, you're going to get a much better close right there. 
We all, additionally, we have the reviews backed up here, and then we have a form just in case somebody doesn't want to call. Some people do want to submit a form, so we have that form here. Uh, it's consistent with our brand, kind of the green, um, so that's very important. Next, we have, we're just reaffirming the reviews, so we're, we're a trusted company, um, you know, what projects they work on, uh, just different projects that you have, and then have a call to action. You guys want to make sure that the call to actions are very consistent across the landing page. Uh, you never know when somebody's going to see some information where they want to take that leap of reaching out to you guys. But say that we didn't have a call to action here, uh, we didn't have a call to action here, uh, we only had one, you know, down here and up here. What would end up happening, guys, is you're making it harder on the user to reach out to you guys. So they would have to scroll up, you know, they'd have to scroll down. So you want to make it very easy. Add those call to actions. Keep a consistent call to action. So a uh, a uh, get a free estimate. Keep that consistent. Don't change. Get a free estimate. Get an affordable estimate here. Keep all those buttons very consistent so that they know what they're going to get when they click on the button. We've got a pop up form. Oop. We've got our form not showing up right here, but we typically have a pop-up form that shows up right here. That way the user is able to just reach out without the form getting in the way. So they can fill out the form or they can reach out directly. The next thing is we're just backing up. You know, we're showing throughout the landing page that we're a trusted company. So 100 plus satisfied customers, having a, a image of a level pool, uh, some additional benefits, and then another call to action. Here we then have just, you know, we service all of St. Louis County. Um, St. Louis Mo, um, commercial, residential, some concrete leveling projects here. Some reviews you guys can add, make sure that you do have reviews on there. Uh, and then at the very end, adding frequently asked questions is always great to reaffirm that you guys are a knowledgeable company, you guys include that information, and then a get a free estimate. So this is really it, guys. You don't need to overcomplicate it. A few things that I didn't mention at the very beginning. Uh, one is don't run this to your website. Uh, we've tested with websites and landing pages at max conversion with Google ads traffic and landing pages when designed properly are going to perform outperform a website 10 out of 10 times. Uh, websites just aren't set up to run Google ads. Uh, you guys can make it work, but landing pages typically perform much, much better. Uh, you can make them more relevant and it's just overall uh, you're going to get a better performance and a better ROI on your campaigns if you're running a landing page. Now, with these landing pages, so with a concrete leveling, right, they've got concrete leveling, concrete ceiling, concrete void filling. There's a variety of different keyword terms and themes. Um, additionally, you have stairway leveling, slab leveling. And so what you guys can actually do is once you design your landing page is actually change out this headline one where you have expert, you know, void filling company and concrete void filling company in St. Louis expert uh, slab, concrete slab leveling company. So you add that keyword. And what that does is it makes it more relevant to what the user's searching for, but it also improves the quality score in a way where the landing page experience should be increased. Um, unless you're already getting above average, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna increase from an above average to more. Um, but if you guys are having a below average or an average landing page experience, adding that keyword in different landing pages is very easy. What I would do is just duplicate the page, change out the headlines, change, you know, add slab here if it was slab leveling, you know, add a slab leveling here, add it here. You just add that keyword throughout to make it more relevant. Now I want to guys, I want to show you guys on mobile phone what this landing page looks like. It looks a little bit different. Um, so here we've got uh, a similar structure, but a little bit different. We've got the logo, we've got the Google reviews. Google reviews very important. Make sure that's on mobile phone as well. We've got the features, same features. Uh, but up here, you see we've got a call button. So people on mobile phone are more likely to call. People on desktop uh, are likely to call, but they're also likely to fill out the form. Uh, on phone, more callers than form submitters. So we've got a floating button that follows you as you go down the page. Really, really nice design. Uh, but we've no we noticed that it works really well. You guys can also have it on the bottom. So if you guys do have it on the bottom, that works really well, especially on mobile phone as their finger as they're scrolling, it's towards the bottom of the phone, so it's easy to press. So you can have it on top or you can have it on bottom. Both work really well, but having a call floating button has worked really well for our agency in improving conversion rate uh, and phone calls. Here we've got an image of cracked concrete. So what you guys can do is if you know if you guys had some guy on the job, uh, if you guys are a lawyer, lawyer company, maybe having a picture of a the team uh, in the office. And then what we like to include on that image 
is some sort of a trust symbol is what we call it. So a trust symbol could be, you know, warranty, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. It could be a discount. If you guys offer, you know, 10, 20% discount, having that discount there, but just attaching it to the image looks really, really nice and really improves that trust, backs up all your guys' features, your Google reviews. It's just really, really nice. So um, here, you know, we've got everything above the fold. However, you notice that the only action they're able to take is to call. So a lot of times on mobile phone, people will scroll uh, a little bit. So here we've got the headline, uh, keeping it simple. We've got the same, the same um, uh, check marks, the benefits. Uh, and then we've got a get a free estimate. So get a free estimate, we'll just open that pop up as well. And additionally, we have a save 20% off so that people know that when they reach out, they can save 20%. So really, really nice. Uh, we've got some additional trust symbols here. And then throughout the landing page, it's the same thing, uh, just mobile optimized um, pictures, reviews, everything. Um, it's very much the same, but really the main point with these landing pages, guys, is the hero section, the very top section, uh, making sure that above the fold, it's very optimized and it speaks to your audience and put yourself in your audience's shoes and figure out what you would want to see in order to make a decision really, really fast. So um, that's kind of our designs that we use at Max Conversion for our landing pages uh, and why it works. But now I want to jump into actually modifying this landing page. What would be some additional better things that we could do to improve the conversion rate? All right, guys, so we're in the editor and this landing page does look great and it works great, but there are some additional things that we can do to actually improve this conversion rate potentially. Now, with Google Ads, you know, everything requires testing. We could make these changes and actually, it could actually go backwards in terms of conversion rate. Um, you just n never really know and that's why it's important to use a landing page software so that you can test two different variations of landing pages and see what works for your company. Um, you know, at the end of the day, Google Ads is about driving ROI. So doing, doing tests and putting in the effort to change these landing pages and make variants is very, very important. But something I would do here that may improve the conversion rate of this landing page is we've got a big gap here, right? So with this gap, um, we could add some sort of trust symbols. Um, we could add discounts, um, really anything. You could add a review right here, but this is an open space where you can put some improvements to this landing page. Um, and so what I would do, um, just to make it simple, as we don't, we need to design some things in Canva to put a review there uh, or put some different trust symbols there. But what I may put just to improve this uh, certain landing page on desktop is adding adding a 20% off or a 10% off as we have that we have that here. So save 20% off. We want to keep it consistent with our mobile version. So we're going to go ahead and put save 20% off. Uh, you guys can put discount 20% off. Um, you can put a variety of different things. We're going to put it in header three. That way it's optimized. And then we're going to increase that to that size there. So save 20% off. We're going to add some padding here. Um, just to make sure that it looks nice. You guys can actually, it may look better if it's like that. Um, and then we can actually increase the size a little bit more. So save 20% off that way, whenever somebody visits this page, we can uh, advertise that offer and people feel like they're saving money that way. And so very big and bold. Um, it doesn't look quite the best. We may do some different things to uh, improve that, the look of it, but Overall, I think it would work for what we're doing. We want to make sure that it's not on mobile devices, that it doesn't transfer over, and we are good. So additionally, what I may do here is if you guys don't have these trust symbols, right, you guys don't have Trustpilot reviews or Yelp reviews or Facebook reviews, you might only have Google reviews, is go ahead and add some different trust symbols. So in terms of trust symbols, what worked for us uh, is we've actually got a list of them. Um, let me upload them and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've got some trust symbols uploaded, um, different discounts and warranties. So what we do is we, you can actually just pull these off of uh, Google if you'd like, make sure they're stock images and you're able to use them. But you see here that we can, we can have these trust symbols and replace them with different, uh, you know, with the Yelp and the Facebook if you guys don't have those reviews. So if you guys do offer a warranty, you know, having that warranty symbol there looks really, really nice. Uh, if you guys offer, you know, if you guys have a discount, having that discount there, um, if you guys have, you know, hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed, uh, and then you guys can also add, you know, if you're Google guaranteed, Google five-star reviews, you guys can make these little custom ones in Canva for free. Um, you know, best concrete leveling service in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, or you could just have one of those. So they all look really, really nice. Um, 
and they can really, really improve your, uh, your conversion rate and the look and feel of your landing page, making sure that is all optimized. But these are some different tactics that we would use to improve it for different companies. Um, changing out the trust symbols, the projects you work on, uh, maybe being more specific, um, changing out these pictures. You know, you could have a video here, you could have a before and after image, different things that would improve this, um, right? Making sure that these are relevant, right? So we service all of St. Louis, oh, we service all of St. Louis County, um, and there's diff different pictures here. Uh, if you guys don't like to structure this, you know, you could always have an image slider, but these are some additional things that we would do in terms of this landing page that could improve the results, right? Um, you know, adding different frequently asked questions. Uh, we want to make sure that this um, is actually, let's change this, make sure that it's consistent. Since we have 10% off here, we want 10% off everywhere instead of 20%. Um, so let's go ahead and add that. Perfect, perfect. Um, consistency is another important thing that we do. Um, and that's very important on landing pages, uh, the consistency of what the user searches for and then how it relates to your landing page. So if the user searches for, you know, concrete leveling services in St. Louis, you guys want to make sure that at all times that your landing kit landing page can be as most relevant to the keyword that they're searching for as possible. Um, you can do some advanced tactics like dynamic keyword insertion. You guys can all also utilize different tactics like offering offer offering discounts. I'm sorry, offering um, different things for people who reach out to you specifically through Google ads, having a specific coupon code. Um, but overall guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. These are uh, the landing pages that we use at Max Conversion. Uh, if you guys are looking for landing page setup and your company, reach out to us at Max Conversion. If you're just looking to do it yourself, that's totally okay. These videos are meant to be helpful for people who are doing Google ads themselves. So um, take what you can from this video. And if you do have any questions regarding landing page setup, quality score regarding landing page experience, uh, or just general Google ads questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more helpful Google ads content.